Hello and welcome to the all-new Talent Big Data and Machine Learning Sandbox. We are really excited to share this new sandbox with you, which includes all new use cases that highlight talent's capabilities with Spark, machine learning, and big data analytics. When you start the sandbox for the first time, you'll have access to this web interface that acts as a control center for the sandbox environment. It provides access to important sandbox resources, including a selection of specific use case scenarios. In this video, I'll take you through how to execute the real-time risk assessment use case. In this example, an online bank is trying to mitigate their exposure and risk by targeting credit offers to only those customers who are deemed low risk and most likely to accept the credit offer. Using web APIs and machine learning, this job will use a decision tree model to determine at login whether to display a specific credit offer or no offer at all. Once I've run the process within Studio, I can come back to this web page and log into fake customer accounts to see the process in action. Let's get started. Make sure to have all required third-party libraries downloaded for this process to run smoothly. If any libraries are missing, a pop-up will indicate the missing files at runtime and allow me to download them before executing the job. I have everything I need downloaded, so I'll search within my repository for step one, found within the real-time risk assessment engine folder. I'll run this job, which initializes the demo environment based on the selected big data platform. Specifically, it loads the data in HDFS and to a NoSQL database for quick data retrieval. The next step can be found under the big data batch dropdown. This job uses a previous dataset to train the decision tree model using Talon's T-Decision Tree model component and saves it to HDFS, ultimately to be used to determine which customers should be deemed low risk and most likely to accept a credit offer. I have the option to run this job to test my newly trained model for the ratio of right predictions against false positives, but I'm confident in my data, so I'll move on to step three. This job, found under Big Data Streaming, will predict in real time the add to display to the user. I'll choose to run this one now. Once the job has initialized running, to the far right, I can see that the real time streaming has begun. This job will continue to run through the duration of the demonstration. The next step is to run the fourth job to provide a web service accessible via a REST API. This web service returns the result of the intelligent streaming job back to the web page. In this case, whether to display an ad to the logged in user. The final step is to run the fifth job, another web service that captures the login information from the web interface and provides it as input into the intelligent streaming job. With the decision tree model trained and available and our streaming job and web services running, I can head back to the web page and log in as a bank customer. If I use nearly any customer ID number between 0 and 1500, I can see an example of a customer who was determined by my risk assessment to not be a recipient of the credit offer ad. But if I log in with 569 as instructed within the steps on the left, I can see an example of a customer who does receive the targeted marketing ad. If you log in twice with the same user ID, the resulted decision will be displayed without hesitation because targeted ads are stored along the way. In this demonstration, you saw how a decision tree model is used to propose targeted marketing campaigns to a customer. Thanks for watching and please continue watching for more demonstrations of talent software.